guess who? Hey. I know you guys, YouTubes, you weren't, you weren't happy with my last vid. It's the first time I got dislikes, but you guys know I put my heart and soul into everything. Well, and so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my all into this vid just for you guys. I'm starting a new series. It's uh, it's called Cooking for Slugs, and it's uh, it's it's I'm showing people who are incompetent how to make food that's decent for them. So let's go making breakfast. Here's the things you're gonna need, or not the things that you need, but things that are a good start to making some good oatmeal. Oatmeal is the perfect blank slate. Means you can put all kinds of shit on it. It'll be real good. You don't want plain oatmeal. That's no fun. So we got here. Okay, here, here's what you don't want. Here's here's what you don't want. Where the fuck is this thing? Ah, there it is. You see this motherfucker? It won't focus, but there's white shit on that blackberry. I don't know why that is, but that's not good. You don't want that. So I'm picking that out. I don't know why I don't know why this guy has to be different, but all the other blackberries are good. I'm picky about my blackberries. I don't know why the fuck that happened. Anyway, so the things you do need are water, and it doesn't have to be this bottled water shit. You can get it out of the sink. It's getting boiled anyway. So you need water and you need Oatmeal, uh, preferably some type of steel cut oat, cause that's the best. This is gluten free. Uh, you don't you don't need gluten in your life, but if you're a normal human being, that's fine. You can uh, whatever, dude. I don't know. I like this shit. It's uh, it, yeah, it's that shit. Well, this tune's going off. Okay, so, so, so we, so you need, you need oatmeal, you need water, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I forgot I was out of nuts, that's not good. Uh, you definitely want to have some type of nut, some assortment of nuts, just had that crunchiness, and that extra protein, and nutrients, nuts are real good for that. Uh, you can use these nuts, or walnuts. I, I like walnuts. You can use fucking anything. I had some cheap ass mix of like peanuts and uh, and a bunch of other cheap shit and it worked just fine. Just get some nuts, any nuts, and put them in your oatmeal. It's good. It's good for you. You need some nuts. Okay, so. Let's get this started. We need some light in this bitch. I apologize. Most people like light. I don't. Oh, well, okay. So, so those are the things you're going to need. And nuts are good. And I also, I also got here peanut butter. Because I'm a sucker. I love peanut butter. Uh, this is my favorite kind of peanut butter because it's real creamy. It, it's just real good. The texture is good. The taste is good. It's not super high in sugar. Uh, but you don't got to get that. Just get some organic shit. It's not terrible for you. It's not great for you either because it's peanut butter, but it's peanut butter, so it's great for you. So we got peanut butter, and then I got bananas. I shouldn't be eating bananas. They always make me, I, I don't think they're good for me. They're high in sugar and carbs and shit, but they're fucking good. They're great for oatmeal. Best fucking oatmeal topping. Next to blackberries, which are fucking amazing. You can get raspberries and all that good shit too. Strawberries, whatever. Berries, blueberries, those are good for you. Some type of berry is great. Some type of nut is great. And then this is kind of just me. The fuck? That's not the tune I had. No, dude. 
we start off with that poor and shit. And when we go into this, this, uh, nice little piano tune by Muramatsu Ken, right? Okay, uh, and, then, and then we got almond milk here. Yeah, you might think that's kind of weird. If you're a pleb, you can just do normal milk. Uh, you don't even have to have milk. I just think it helps the texture a lot. It just makes it a more pleasant experience with some type of uh, liquid like milk in it. Or fucking almond milk. Almond milk is good for you. But you don't need this shit. If you're a, if you're a fat fuck who doesn't give a shit. I was just starting to eat some decent shit. Why, why am I opening these nuts? Okay, let's get started. So we got our pan here. You're gonna need some type of pan like this. Uh, I don't think you absolutely need a top, but I, I don't know. It seems like you do. So, uh, you need a top, and then you need a pan like this. It doesn't have to be the exact same size. Can be a little bigger, especially if you're making or two. If you got yourself a nice little girlfriend, like you, you fucking bitch. And uh, okay, so we got our pan here. We got our stove here. It doesn't have to be this type of stove. I fucking hate these stoves, but apparently everyone else loves them. So, uh, okay, let's get started here. You're gonna need your water. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be stupid bottled water. It's getting boiled anyway, but this is what I like to use. And it's also real simple for me. Because I know exactly how much I need to use. Or at least how much I think I need to use. So, uh, uh, what I like to do is uh, first to figure out how much I need, I stick my dick in the pan. And then I take half of that, so about an inch. Uh, so, let's see here. It's about an inch, I think. No, no, it's still not there. My dick's a little bigger than that. No, it's bigger than that. This can't be right. My dick's not that big. Okay, that's about right. That's a little overkill. But, uh... See, there's not a ton of water in the pan. Uh, you don't want too much. I think that's, uh... It'll give bad results. You'll see why later. Okay, and once you got your water in the pan, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, see, this is the center, so you wanna turn the center on. Or whichever one you're using, you gotta pay attention. And then just crank that shit up. Just crank it up real high. Not too high, probably. I like to set mine about 85, 90. You got a flame like this. Yeah. And then, uh, then we kind of just chill. Uh, okay, so, it's real important to be prepared. Number one, number one lesson I learned in cooking is, uh, being prepared is everything. So you want all your fucking ingredients ready when you need them. It's not so important for oatmeal, especially if you're just going to eat it with a couple things, but, uh, it's, it's good to get in the habit of being prepared. So you're, so you're, Berries or blackberries, wash that shit if you haven't already washed mine. And uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go with this banana too early, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. But eventually, we're gonna want to get into that banana, cut it up before the oatmeal is ready. But uh, basically, uh, all we're doing right now is we're staring at this pot here. Just uh, staring at this water, waiting for it to boil. If you want it to start boiling, you're going to see bubbles coming up and shit. I turn it up real high because I don't like waiting. Uh, you probably don't have to turn it up that high, but uh, I don't I don't like waiting. So, we're, we're waiting anyway. Waiting anyway for uh, for the bubbles to come 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 up. They'll come up eventually. You can see a uh, can see there's a little activity in there, and there's potentially my face. That's not important. In fact, you can probably see my. Eh.
Well, see, th this is the problem with having no uh, video editing software. All this shit's going to stay in the video. But good news is I'll probably put an annotation uh, to the point where the bubbles start coming up. But you can see we got a little activity here. Got a, got a little bit of activity here. Got the small bubbles. That's a start. That's not what we want quite yet. We're getting there. Take a drink of water here. <laughs> 